Welcome back everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. And what I want to do is I want to tell you how I charge the BioNO battery with the sun. Uh, this one, this particular BioNO battery, is a lithium iron phosphate battery, which is the model PNBLF1212A, which is 144 watt hours. You get 144 by multiplying 12 volts times 12 amps, gives you 144. The volts times the amps give you the watts and then the hours, which means that this battery can technically give you 144 watts um, in one hour and within that hour. So con consistently 144 watts in an hour. Or you can think of uh, 12 amp hours, which I like better. The 12 amp hours tells you, you know, um, it can give you 12 amps continuously for an hour. So for example, this battery I've been using uh, recently on my IC7300 uh, uh, for mobile operations. The IC7300, if you turn it on and you don't pump the volume all the way and lower down the screen brightness, you can get 12 hours because it's approximately <clears throat> 0.95 amps, very close to one amp um, of that drains every hour consistently one amp for one hour and this will give you 12 amps so you can have that radio turned on just for listening for approximately on average 12 hours of course if you increase the volume and increase the brightness or transmit then of course you're you don't get 12 hours anymore and with the IC 7300 you don't put it all the way up to 100 uh, watts to transmit because the peak, max peak on that is 21 watts. And it says right here, 20 amp max peak discharge current. So you shouldn't put it all the way up. Um, okay, now when this drains or when you want to charge it, usually you uh, it has a separate uh, connection here. You have a brick. You put the uh, you connect you connect the brick to this, and then the brick you connect to the wall, and it ch charges is up pretty quickly actually. Um, it's very convenient. But how can you charge this through the sun instead? Well, the great thing about these bio anno battery battery uh, packs here, they have electronics that uh, allows you to use the Anderson power pole to put in solar energy in it. Um, so if you have a solar panel, you should never connect it to this to charge this because the solar panel will just continuously put power in here and it might damage the batteries. They say there's electronics in here to prevent certain things, but I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do anything in terms of connecting. You're not supposed to do that, period. Um, so don't, don't attempt doing that. What you need is something in between to manage the sun power. And that's why you get a solar controller. <clears throat> this one is a um, PowerRec uh, solar controller, specifically for the bio batteries, the 12 volt, the 12 volt versions. And um, this is about $30 plus tax and shipping. They're over here, I think, in Irvine or or, or in Orange County, I believe. Um, which, these things are invaluable. They're very inexpensive, and they allow you to utilize the sun power to charge your um, bioenergy battery um, uh, pack here. Now, um, this one is rated at 150 watts. So... It is a M, this guy is an MPPT, Maximum Power Point Tracking. It's um, apparently if your solar panel is more than 14.6 um, voltage, that extra voltage is converted into current, which, which charges the battery faster. The input voltage 
uh, for this guy is anywhere from 16 to 25 volts, which is great because um, many uh, solar panels, you know, a lot of them are in, you know, they give you 24, 20 volts. Um, so that's great. Output voltage uh, that comes out over here, it will be 14.6, which is the current, I mean, the, the voltage that you need to um, charge this because the this battery will go up to very close to 14.6 uh, maximum power uh, is 150 watts um, probably going in maximum current probably going in uh, in again is 12 amps I don't have anything like that with one solar panel um, and so it's it's rated for bioeno batteries or something that's similar. Uh, what else? Apparently, its efficiency conversion is ninety five percent. IP rated to IP sixty seven, which I guess it's I guess somewhat uh, maybe some type of weatherproofing. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you? So this solar controller will manage the sun power to fill this up. So the fastest and easiest way of doing this is um, you can connect your battery to the uh, solar controller and you gotta make sure you choose the right one. It says battery on these leads and then you plug it in here. So it's ready to go. And then here, this is a connection. This wire goes outside to my solar panel and we connect it there. And that's it. That's all you really need. This gets a tiny bit warm, but not very much, tiny bit. Um, and it just powers it. Now, there's no meter here. There's no meter to tell me what's going on. Um, you don't really need one. You can just wait, you know, maybe a half a day or something and just then you can check the battery. For example, right now there's some, some power going in here that's converting it to 14.6 volts to charge this battery. So let's pretend, you know, I kept it there for an hour or two or three or something. I can take this off I can use a multi uh, multimeter, right? Put it under voltage. Uh, this is a fluke. Um, <laughs> this, I've had this for like three decades or something. They're they're incredible. So you connect. Uh, make sure it's <laughs> make sure it's in volts, not in amps. And look at that, fourteen point five um, volts. So when you're at 14.5 volts, very close to 14.6, <clears throat> it's full. It is ready to, uh, it's already charged. If it's at 13, 13 point, I don't know, 6, 13.7, you can, pro you can still charge it. And this is going to go lower and lower and lower uh, because the moment you connect something to the battery, it will discharge. And then um, it, it levels off, I don't know, at around 13.1, 13.2 or something. So uh, if we look at the amount of power, let's look at how much voltage the um, solar, it's a small little solar panel, it's like 50 watt solar panel. Let's see how many, let's see how, what's the voltage on that. The voltage is at 20.22 volts. That's awesome. So, so that's one way you can do it, right? You can um, hook this up, right? Hook this up, wait a couple of hours, unplug it, check the voltage. Uh, digital multimeters are not very expensive. Sometimes they even give you one away. I think one time Harbor Freight was giving one away as long as you buy something. Uh, or I've seen them for five dollars or something. Um, they're very inexpensive. So, is there a way to show me, you know, 
like how much power is going in. Uh, yeah, you can you can get uh, a digital. Uh, uh, this this is a watt meter or a digital watt meter. Um, it says power analyzer. Okay, uh, you can get a um, a panel um, panel mount that has you know the reading the digital readings. Um, anything that shows you the the voltage, you don't need to know the amps. Um, it's always nice to know how much amps are coming in. So. It has a source and it has a load. The battery is the load. That's the thing that I want to charge. So I'm going to put that there. That apparently turns it on. And you can see on this side, on this side here, it's 14.42 uh, volts. So, and then on this side, the source where the power is coming, it's zero. It says zero right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this here. And so far I have nothing to report. And I'm going to plug this guy in here. Wow. And voila. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. There we go. And right now the sun is giving me 0.46 amps, um, probably more. But as you can see, the amps are going down. Because the charge controller, uh, which is off camera, is measuring the voltage of the battery. And the voltage of the battery is at already 14.6, which is the capacity of the battery. And now, see that? It only, it's only pumping in 0 0.05 amps. Just trickling less now. Just trickling just to make sure the battery is nice and charged. Uh, now, now it's 0 amps. Look at that. So, now it's completely, well, got, it goes back and forth, right? Because this device needs power. So, it's draining some power from, probably from the battery and then it lowers the voltage and then the charge controller tells it you know hey the, the battery is a little bit low give it a, give it you know give it some sun now you have an idea uh, you can have a, a some type of voltmeter you don't need the amperage just a voltmeter when the when the voltage is at 14.58 you know it's full okay so hopefully this gives you you know some idea of how to power or charge your bioeno battery with a pretty inexpensive solar controller um, and again you don't need this uh, digital multimeter not multimeter digital meter uh, you can have just a regular digital multimeter to read uh, i hope you're well uh, be safe and i hope to uh, hear from you soon this is uh, frank Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.